Welcome to the channel. My name is Hero, and in this video, I'll be going over some Ableton Push 3 alternatives because let's be honest, not everybody's ready to drop $2,000 on a standalone MIDI controller or even $1,000 on the non standalone version. So I'm going to share a few different alternatives that I use on my music production, and hopefully it helps you on your journey. The first alternative I have for the Push 3 is the Push 2. I'm not really ready to throw the Push 2 out. It's been a solid MIDI controller for me. I've owned a Push 1, I've owned this Push 2, and this is such a well-built MIDI controller that I plan on still keeping it for a while. And also Ableton no longer sells the Ableton Push 2, but with the 3 coming out, that means there's gonna be used Push 2s out there for sale. One alternative is Novation's Launchpad X. This controller has been awesome. It is super thin, easy to pack with me. In addition to the portability of the Novation Launchpad X, there is a custom feature or layout that it does that I haven't been able to figure out on the Ableton Push 2. And if somebody knows, please drop a comment, let me know how to do this. I've been looking for this piano mode. You have this button up here for custom and I can switch to this custom mode where all the keys that have this pink on the side, those are all the white keys. And then the other keys are the black keys. I can play as if it was a regular keyboard. Now this also comes in handy because some plugins go off of the white keys. I'll use Scalar 2 as an example. And also let me know in the comments below if it would be helpful to show how I created this menu where I can click anywhere in Ableton and pull up a plugin or an effect. I'm happy to share that. So here is an example. I'll just load up a scale real quick. I got this B minor scale and I'm gonna lock it in. So if I wanted to play these keys right here so that I can play the, um, the chords, I'll start off right here. You see the first, first off, I cannot hit, I can't hit that C2. I go to the next chord, nope, it skips it. And now we just hit the D. But on this, if I go to custom mode, I can go and hit each one of the chords. Super dope to have that mode. Let me know. Um, I would love to know how to do that on the push two. And I'm sure folks would want to know how to do that on the push three. If someone knows, that'd be awesome. One little bonus tip with any of these MIDI controllers that have music theory built into them, you don't have to know music theory, but if you practice the patterns that work well together, then you can come up with things and it'll sound awesome. So that pattern is just four keys. And then here's another pattern. And then you can do the trifecta. This is the Roly light pad block, and it's cool because it's super portable. You can slide it in your pocket, throw it in your bag, and uh, it also is wireless. And you have multiple modes. So you have the, um, this is kind of like an XY pad. And then if you push this button on the side, you can switch to the different modes from this one single pad to having four pads. And you can go in between them. And then you can also go into where you have 16 pads. This is a little more handy for drums, but it can also be used for the instruments. And 
you still can bend between all the instruments and the pads this is the mode that i really like it is the um this is 25 pads and i can have it in this like note scale mode where i can easily go between different notes and never hit the wrong note because i programmed it to the track and then you can wiggle on the notes something helpful in this video hit the like button consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next video